this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about a curve cast. You see that rock there? Well, there might be a fish lying on the other side of it. And I want to, if I put my fly, ah, my leader's gone across it and it's snagged. Okay, so I don't want to do that. What I want to do is put my fly on the downstream side of it, but I have to bend the line around. So all I'm going to do is do that. Make a curve cast. All I'm going to do is turn the rod on its side like this. Turn the rod on its side. And just when I come to make the forward stop, I'm just going to flick the rod harder and twist my hand in. Like that. I flick the rod inwards. The fly line follows the path the rod tip takes. Okay? We're making a side cast, a side cast. Overpower it. There you go. Beautiful. If there's a fish line on that side of the rock, we'd have got it. Curve cast. Great cast. Now that curve cast came from my casting shoulder, my right hand, and it went that way. And it's called a positive curve. And it's quite easy to do because your hand moves like throwing a, I don't know, like a discus. Your, your wrist wants to move that way. Well, what about throwing a curve that way, upstream, off your casting shoulder, this way? Your wrist doesn't want to do that. It can't move as far because it closes there. This cast is called a negative curve and it's a little more difficult to do. There you go. More difficult to do. More difficult to do. Here we go. There we go. Great cast if you've got it. Great cast. Show you that again. Carry on casting off your normal side, but then a negative curve. A great way to put a lot of drag and skim that fly across the surface if you don't want to make a downstream curve mend. Negative curve casts.